Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Dragon Age Origins. I'm not sure how many people will actually watch this, but oh well. I want to I want to flesh out my Dragon Age stuff so that way I'm not just saying with default stuff. Alright, let's let's start. That looks reassuring. Blood spreading over a map. So the golden city blackened which each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection for its fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Well. I'm sorry about that steam thing. I'm gonna figure out how to get rid of it before The Chantry it. teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Yeah, it looks bad. and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. I'm so sorry, but you will be seeing the blood. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. That was bad. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Indeed. All right. When the human. Female and a mage. Alright, I'm just going to really quickly. Uh, and I'm sorry. Can I? No, I can't change my options at the moment. That's okay. Greetings. That's a good reset to start with. Uh, skin complexion. That, this looks bad. I like first one, no, okay, skin tone. Uh, I like that one. Blush color. Looks 
natural uh, blush intensity. What's the difference? Uh, lip color. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna just leave that name there. Uh, okay, then here. Alright, uh. That just looks pretty nice. any long hair? That looks like that looks like hair style with more hair on the sides. Oh well, that's pretty. I like I like this one best. Okay hair color. There we go. Eyebrows. I cannot see my eyebrows, so I doubt it makes a difference, but okay. Eyebrow color. Oh. Eyes. Nice shape. That's weird. Okay, that looks good. Uh, it's basic and I have. I'm not gonna change this. Just slide it. Let's go then, hope it's a good color. I'm not gonna mess with those two. Let me show you. No, 
not sure what. Bridge that. Oh, so I'm trying to emulate that, I guess. Small one. John Cheeks, okay. should do something else. I need by, please. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I need some other attack. Move aside. Greetings. I cannot cast it! This weapon does nothing. I must get by. Charmed. I lost the spell. Not working. Shoo! Ugh! My spell! My weapon does nothing. You're in my way. Greetings. Likewise, best. Just that's fine. Uh, strength. I'm probably not gonna need that much of it. Uh, 
Uh, willpower. Alright, uh, five. Good. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not going to go on easy. That'd be, that, that'd be bad. And I'm not going to go on hard on nightmares. So let's just play it normal. Oh, this is really going to suck. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhard stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. 
This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyria, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Alright, let's just drink some lyrium stuff. Or just such a new dude, that'll do. <laughs> that menacing voice sounded very menacing and not very good. Alright, uh. Okay, first things first, uh, options. Um, okay. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, okay, first things first, audio. Okay, let's put that back. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Go ahead and leave that in the Ooh. Where is it? Where is the thing that is attacking me?
and work anything. I shall do it. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Talking rat. You are a talking rat. Yep, you're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? You're mean. Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Okay, the first things first, you took the care of me. It's yeah. fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. How long do I have, exactly? I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. What am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Okay, first things first. How would you... How would they contain a demon? Did some other... Did older, more experienced mages do the... Do the same thing and contain it somehow? Or what? Because... Because last time I checked, whole actually entering the fate doesn't happen until the third game. Why pit me against such a creature? A question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. Alright. And yay! A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Alright, so I have my brain life, flame blast, and my arcing bolts, okay. I don't see anything yet. That looks bad. Spirit of Valor. Very well. <laughs> 
Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Fight each other? We're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Uh, okay then, what kind of spirit are you? I am Valor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. What else do you know about the Harrowing? Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave, until one of you is dead. Sounds reassuring. Did you create all those weapons? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Not necessarily, uh... One of these weapons affect the demon. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you. If you agree, to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. It seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. So you challenge helpless mortals to duels? You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. All right, uh... Raven. Sweet. Screenshot and the quest is updated. That's not reassuring. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. And yeah, that's a sloth demon. A good creature. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. 
Okay, Emma, what kind of spirit are you? It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Great! Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Why are you called sloth? What are you? I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Are you talking about dreamers? Many mortals dream. They come here often, but you are not one of those. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. Lucky me. Indeed. Now, what do you want with me? I need help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form. Years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? You could help me fight the demon. It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Mouse just wants to learn, teach him. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly. And I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Okay, then I have, I have Google, so... Accept it. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Uh. Uh, tongue. Yes, your witty tongue. Uh, fair enough. Uh, one more try. Shall we? Often will I spin the tale, never will I charge a fee. 
I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. <laughs> what am I? Dream. You are correct, brother. Apropos here in Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. All right. Why am I about to thinking fade wolves will come up nowhere and attack me? Surrounded. Uh, I'm going to take care of you first. You are close. Are you? Uh, no, you're 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 closest. It is the gun. My mana turns to replenish itself. And give your health a chance to replenish itself. I presume I have to go into this eerie pit I have I saw earlier. Yes, I do. There is a spirit of rage. All right, uh, I'm gonna pause. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to fight him? And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine. Body and soul. If I lose, the Hitlers will still cut you down. They are welcome to try. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. What? I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared... You arse. Now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Alright, so... First things first. I'm sick of hiding! Alright, uh, okay then, let's take down these. Okay, pause. It shall be. All right, uh. You did it. You actually did it. 
When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to... But I never really thought any of you were worthy. Sounds like your help was unusual. Oh, wait, it's all a little too easy. That is because you are a true mage. One of the few. Suspicious? The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. Oh, you have no idea. I understand necessity. What now? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help. There may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my test. What? What are you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. I knew it! Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. A pride demon! Well, that's not that great. Am I going to have to fight you? I hope not. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Good to know! Okay. All right. Looks like we're making my quarters. Are you all right? Say something, please. I'm okay. Let's go for a little. I'm not interested in thing. Where am I? Is this the pain? You're in the dormitory. Take a deep breath. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? It was harrowing. Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint and I'll stop asking, I promise. Like it'll help him. I had to enter the pain. Really? That's it. Yeah, but even possesses you, you like heal you. That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist a demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Any day now, probably. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. What are you talking about? The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They're not going to kill you, Dylan. They might not. But the rite of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower. Like a Wayne who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. I'll watch for that next time I talk to Owen. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fate. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. No emotions? How's that possible? The Fade is the dream realm. Maybe it's a side effect of being cut off from the Fade. No dreams, no emotions? Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing. But the Circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. 
I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Um, uh, where is he? Also, really quickly. It's explicitly stated in the lore that dwarves don't have any connection to the Fade, hence what, and they don't dream, and they, and that's also why they can't become mages. So, I don't think being cut off from the Fade would be, would make you no emotions unless you're built for not, for not having, needing that requirement. That's scary. He said he'd be in his study upstairs. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I've it's it's gone on for long enough. Uh, okay. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.